They broke into Hamilton Hall on Columbia's main New York campus overnight, smashing out windows. Dozens of protesters formed a human chain. The protesters say they plan to stay in the building until the university concedes to their demands. They want the school to divest from companies with ties to Israel, and they say on social media, if Columbia tries to remove them by force, the school will, quote, have blood on its hands. Unlike what happened in Canada when Khalistani separatists voiced their demands, the U.S. has retaliated and shown its boundaries against protestant students and illegal migrants. Florida's Governor DeSantis has especially raised his voice and mentioned ramifications of such activities such as cancellation of visas, deportation, and even travel bans in many cases for such candidates. You are in our country on a student visa and you're making common cause with Hamas. I am canceling your visa and I'm sending you home where you belong. If you're in the streets of the United States, you're here as a visitor on a visa. Okay, you're not an American, you're here on a visa, and you're here to teach, or you're here to go to school, and you're out there chanting on behalf of Hamas and Hezbollah and these terrorist groups, who, by the way, also hate America, we should revoke your visa. If you are here in this country as a visitor on a visa, and you are t defacing statues in George Washington, ripping down American flags, putting up Palestinian flags, you should have your visa revoked and eliminated. Now, why are we showing you all of this information? Some of you might not relate to it and you might say, hey, this is not exactly relevant. I'm a student from so-and-so country. I don't think I'll be participating in any of this. But please keep in mind, as you can see from the governor's statements, the student visa is temporary just because you have managed to get to the US. And I think most of you guys who are actually there, you guys know it because you are in the real the situation, you're actually seeing the circumstance, you're actually seeing the struggle, you know that even if you actually enter the US, you're not exactly a citizen, you are still a part of the student community and they still believe you have to go back, you're there to study, finish off your studies and go back. So whether you're a student, whether you're a, I know we we're talking about dreamers in some of these uh, videos that I saw, that you know, some of these illegal migrants who are actually getting admissions, scholarships even in, in many cases and they're then protesting these activities can actually land you in trouble. As the governor said that you are not an American citizen, you are still considered to be an alien, essentially someone who is there for a short period of time and has to go back to their own country. And any crime, by the way, this is not just about protesting, any crime can actually get you deported. You, some of you might say that rallying or basically protesting, it's not exactly a crime, right? But at the end of the day, it's important to understand any activity that can be even borderline illegal or causes issues to the government, they can actually take action and impose cancellation of your visa, deportation, travel bans, whatever they like at that point. So understand this, guys. Be careful. Don't work illegally. I know a lot of you guys do this. You work illegally and employers might be people from your own country as well who shouldn't be sympathizing with you. But what they exactly do is they hold this leverage over your head that, hey, if you don't work for this and this amount per hour, which is already much, much lower than what they should be giving you by the, by the law. But they say, hey, if you don't work, we're going to be reporting you to the authorities. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. You're working illegally. You have illegal IDs, whatever. So don't do these activities. Don't perform such activities that land you in trouble and force you to essentially pay off hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt that you've taken on to actually get to the country that you are waiting to. Similarly, protesting. You're there to study, finish off your education, come back. Don't go ahead protesting or taking part in activities on campus. I know your friend might be doing that. Someone who is you know, from another country might be doing that, an American friend might be doing that, but don't follow through with them. Know that you're there to study, get aside, stop taking part in activities which actually rage people and basically create issues for, for the campus itself. And if you cannot afford your degree, please go ahead, get a loan. Don't just go ahead, start working illegally. I know so many students who just want to go to the US go to Canada, go to all other countries, what they do is they show fake funds, funds that don't exist, funds that aren't even theirs, their counselors are showing the funds. And then they go over there, they expect to work and pay off the degree. It's not easy, guys. It's not easy and it doesn't happen for most of the cases. So please, the only notice in this video is to be careful, understand what's really going on, understand how those people think about you as an immigrant, basically as a non-immigrant really, when you, when you actually come to study in the US and please, 
don't take part in such activities protect yourself protect your peers hard earned money and make sure that you get the output that you're looking for and that is to go ahead get a good job pursue the education right make the money back and then if you want to go back go back right depends on you i hope this video helps share this with the people who need to know subscribe to the channel for more such content and i'll see you in the next one goodbye and take care